Welcome back guys, I'm your host Odessa Amaris. How you doing today, you beautiful souls? I'm doing fantastic. So, we are finally continuing on with uh, Beyond Two Souls and all of that. I'm super excited to be continuing this game and all of that. Not sure how far we have left to play of it, but uh, we'll get there eventually. So, let's go! Usually, um, when we hit the part eight or nine ten we're, we're like on the halfway mark so usually with video games depending on the video game because sometimes they could be crazy long she's finally going back jody my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. Though sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. You can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's I did? Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. Uh, Have they made any progress on the infra world? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser. The most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. You're working with the army? Oh, Nathan had no choice, really. It's funding. On the condition of exploring possible military applications. <laughs> Go figure. Did you tell anyone that I called you? No, of course not. Not even Nathan. <laughs> Wouldn't do me any good to be meeting up with a known felon now, would it? <laughs> what I talked to you about? Find out anything? <laughs> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in a DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. Where is she? Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna ask about the father. My mother's locked up in a mental hospital. I'm sorry, Jody. I've gotta go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody, she's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. I think she should see her. Look, you've taken a huge risk. Thank you, Cole. Oh, I like Cole. Cole's awesome. Hey. You didn't think 
I was gonna let you go alone, did you? Oh, he wants to help us! Yay! So much love for Cole. Absolutely love this man. Such a sweet dude. I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. <laughs> I love this man. So, like, uh-uh, girl, let's go. They probably set it up so that way she would get caught, prob probably. Probably? I can't talk today, English. Come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Um, that's well, super light. You help me out. Or pleading. Excuse me. Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in. I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Well. Or I could just do it this way. Um, let's see what room she's in first. Found her! Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. Hey, there's no call button. Maybe it's behind the desk. Okay, I got you. Sorry, buddy. So far, so good. Might be watching cameras. We gotta be careful about that. There's cameras everywhere, guys. I don't know about this. Now. I don't know. Find a way to open that door. Yeah, I could do that. Ah, dang it. I hit the wrong button again. I always do this when I am... Crap. You gotta distract the guard first. Well... Nothing, huh? Yes! Oh. That'll get your attention, won't it? Hmm. Nothing, huh? What's this? Nice, Aiden. Now unlock the door. Come on. It's all like, nice try, you ain't doing much. That's okay. We'll just try for something more. I don't see anybody. There must be something. side let's see door 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 switch something I'm not seeing anything what am I missing There's a human down here. Oh, 
he's too far away. Yeah. I'm just gonna do that for later, but, you know. No luck, huh? Hmm. I'm trying to wake him up, it's kind of not working here. Uh, there we go. Three times is the charm, I guess? Come here, buddy. Thank you. All right. Oh, geez. Well, that's one way to do it. Just knock him out. Thank you. I didn't think about this camera here. Anything else? Yeah. Probably should have done this first, but... Whatever. They're gonna know that I was here. Anyways. I was smart earlier and now we're just having problems. Uh, Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? They probably already saw me, but you know. Bro, you were just walking by every camera, huh? Goodness, 43, was it? Forty-three! I found it, Jody. Good job. Yeah, that's great. Wish we I'll could wait here. Care of the camera sooner, but all right. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. I'm prepared. I want to see her. not even sleeping. Mom, it's me. Judy. Sugar? Of course. Anything I can do to help. She looks like she was put through the same. She had. Nora. The mother and the father, both gifted. Do you realize how important this baby is? You won't be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. That's my baby! For your back! Uh, I've changed my mind! I love my baby! Get the baby quickly! Get the baby out of here! Please! Please let me see her! Oh my god! Please let me see her! 
may develop yeah. some special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Increase the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. Something else you wanted to show me? What else was there? Oh. She's suffering. This isn't fair. Judy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want her to suffer anymore either. I'm sorry, Judy. <clears throat> of fucking course, because I didn't do anything with the cameras. I was going to get caught. Big Wigs house, I guess. I like the the cup and everything. It was fancy, very fancy. Are we fucking around with shit that we shouldn't be fucking around with again? 
God. The story. I don't remember it being so... heart-wrenching. Fuck. Where are we? Oh, we're back at uh, that one. They opened another one. I thought we told them not to open another one. You fucking idiots. The most powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan. <laughs> Oh. It's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Yeah, great warm welcome. Please have a seat. Hit me on the head. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. Uh, where's Cole? How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. But I convinced them to wait for a while and watch you from a distance. Oh, so they know. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. What happened to my mother, Nathan? I want the story. Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you, loved you, tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? And decided to trick me, killing the president? Have I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. Not mine. And I'm done with that. They tricked me already. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. No trophy for this one? I bet it's uh, don't get caught is what it is. Or something like that. Alright. Uh, do we have enough time? Yeah, we have enough time to keep on going to the next chapter. Shocking me. 
No trophy for this one. Is this a memory? <laughs> Wonder why we jumped backwards. Alright. I want to watch more cartoons! Who doesn't want to watch more cartoons and sit and chill? Nathan, I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey. This morning, I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here, and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. Awesome. He's <laughs> so sweet. Dark. It's dark in here. So, where did he leave that book? I don't know. I'll have to look. See what we can find. Mm. Stop oh. it, Aiden. It's not funny. I bet you that's the book, but I want to take a look and see if there's anything else I can poke at. No, just the book? Alright. I like poking at other things. Aiden? Are you doing that, Aiden? Okay. I think this is when she realizes she could talk with the other side. So we're learning how she found out that she could talk to the other side. Ah, you found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. <laughs> Jody. Jody, you okay? You look pale. She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes? Yeah, I think this yes, is hold how... On. Nathan, it's for you. Of course. Nathan Dawkins. Keeps getting poked around. Oh. Wait. They just died. Nathan? Nathan, what's up? My wife. Lord, they were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Drunk driver. Wrong side of the road. The look on his face told me. They're dead. Um, Jody, let's get you off to bed. Hey, to stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody. I thought his family, like, died years ago. <laughs> Type deal. That's what I was thinking. Interesting spot to put that in. I would have probably put it in a little bit when in her younger area, but... Alright, 
According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailaojiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and the other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Well, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the evil world and make sure that no one will try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Shove them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. I like her trainers, but I still don't like... Dumbass. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the info world yet. <laughs> Good. Because I don't want to lose you. All right, prick, let's go. It's good to see you. Um... For the mission's sake, try to keep Biden from killing you. But no promises. You lied to me. Mm -mm. Well, that is the quickest way to well, freaking. Great start. Nah, that is the quickest way to get me to turn on you. Lie to me and do something that I said not to do. Crossing my boundaries. Ooh, hello. I would say we got caught. Shit, we're not even gonna get a chance. We're getting, jumping right into this. I put tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. I have a feeling this is going to get really gruesome. Just saying. Um, forewarning. Just, just forewarning. Okay. Turn away now or skip a little bit ahead uh, past this. Just... Mm. Of course, I will kill you regardless. Torture, been... torture scenes usually do get really bad, so... I don't know. It might be tasteful, but we'll see. And painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time. Who do you work for? I where are you? Oh, it's the prediction of the future. Okay. So. Shit. Alright. It's completely deserted! You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. The storm's getting worse! What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? All right, let's see what we can find. Can't 
go too far because then I'll start hurting, so. I'm not seeing anything. You're freezing out here. Could you please find somewhere we can hide? I'm trying. There's a house over there! Got it! Let's go! I didn't know how far I could go. I noticed it kind of varies a little. I might have to stop in mid-chapter, but that's all right. Freaking hate the cold. It's fucking freezing. What are we doing here? It's just a goddamn fishing village. Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days. Walking on ice, eating snow, for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! Look, I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up! You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? Jesus. She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, the pack, the pit, I was gonna say. Oh, that. Fuck it. Everything's wet. I'm gonna try. Not sure why we're messing with that, but alright. Damn. All this stuff is soaking. <sighs> Right, and we won't make it through the night. All right, sure. Stay warm. Okay, let's see what we can find. The boys are working on that. I'm gonna go out. I'm desperate for a pee. Don't go too far, okay? It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. <sighs> minus 40! Jesus criminy! <sighs> yeah, hell no. the fuck? No, I would will not want to be out in this. I don't know where I'm going here. Oh, yeah, straight up. She has to use the restroom. I thought she was gonna leave everybody behind. It's freezing. Yeah, but your butt's freezing now, too. sure how anybody did not spot her or I mean she's kind of blending in with the snow a little bit but or there's skis for that matter but all right they're here I saw them where on the main road a convoy of armored cars they drove right by me did they see you no no I don't think so let's roll Follow them! Hope you packed up all your stuff. Uh, they probably just left the computer. <laughs> it's 
cold as balls out here. Minus 40. Ugh. Can't imagine. So cold. I couldn't do it. Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. Gotcha. I got you, Mama. Let's see what what can we find here. Subs. We're gonna go swimming. Soldiers. We're loading crates into, into submarines. Submarines? That means the rift is. It's underwater. I mean, they must have a, a base down there and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell I to take them out. Oh, you want me to take them out? We can turn. Uh, let's see here. Who do we want to get our hands on? Or who's going to allow us to get our hands on? Oh, there we go. Alright. Sorry, guys. As always. Here we go. Oh, I was probably I got caught just now. All right. Hope you didn't hit the alert button. I did not think about that. <laughs> oh dear. Everybody walks so frickin' slow. So, what do we do now? She hasn't shown any response of since we've been getting or doing these killings this entire time, but now all of a sudden she's having feelings about. Okay. Oh Just give me a second, okay? Picking apart the game, don't do it. I have a nasty habit of picking apart games. A nasty habit about picking apart games. Alright, what are we doing? Uh, we could take a look real quick. They probably already know that we're here. As you know, we didn't, uh, I didn't see any security cameras or anything. Um. God damn. There's gotta be a run button. There is not. Anything in here? Nothing? Oh, we're just gonna go straight to the submarine. Got it. Walking around takes forever in this game. It's another issue I have with this game too. Story's great so far, really good emotional spot so far, but dang. I piloted a sub like this on the CIA simulator. I mean, maybe we can use it. Yeah, sure, let's use their sub. They won't notice anything. I'm looking for a plan, not a way to commit suicide. Uh, 
It would be perfect because if we were to use a, a different submarine, they would definitely know that it. Whatever. Anyways, we're out of time here. I'm nitpicking again. You know how I get with some of these games. Sometimes at a certain point, I start getting nitpicky with certain things. <laughs> Um, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please smash that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Definitely hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload to the channel. Feel free to check out my other playlists. I do more than just video games. You might find something else to entertain you while you are waiting on um, the next upload to drop of this series. Uh, feel free to follow me on my lovely Twitch page. We go live every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, we have a lot of fun over there. So much chaos and mayhem. And if you wish to come and chit-chat and chill with us, that's the way to do it. Also, feel free to follow me on my other social media pages. I'm on pretty much everything. Um, I think the only thing that's not sitting over there is um, Thread, which is the newest thing that I've just recently got into. But if you follow me on... Uh, Instagram, it'll tell you that I'm also over there as well, so, uh, but yeah, feel free to follow me on those social media pages, I do cosplay stuff, drag king stuff, OC, photography for myself, photography for other people, and just whatever in general I like to post about, whether it be updates, events that I'm going to, I'll post about it on every social media page so you can be, uh, caught up to speed, so... And if you are interested in chilling with uh, some of the other community members, or you wish to chat with other community members, or just uh, meme it up and share some photos of pets and of uh, food and cosplays and OCs and even artwork that you guys have done for, for the page and all of that, please definitely go check that area out. Without further ado, I'm your host, Odessa Amari, signing out. Game on gamers, cosplaying cosplayers. I got something in my eye, and it's driving me nuts. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Be safe, everybody. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye! I gotta go take care of what's in my eye.